Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my absolute favorite sunscreens for dry skin. Winter is coming, and that is a time where our skin tends to be even drier than at baseline. So listen up, I think these would be a great choice for the upcoming months. And yes, you do still need to wear sunscreen every day in the winter time, even if it's cloudy out, even if the UV index is low. These sunscreens come from Japan, Canada, US, and the UK. And as I go through them, I will be sure and point out those that I think are particularly good for those of you with medium to deep skin tones who really wanna avoid that white cast, that ashen, lavender, gray look that many sunscreens can give, which nobody wants. All right, the first sunscreen is one I've talked about before, but if you're new here, maybe you're not familiar with it, definitely check it out. It's a Japanese sunscreen, Isen Mommy UV Aqua Milk. This is SPF 50, which is good. All of these, by the way, are gonna be SPF 50 or higher. But it's PA 4 plus, which is quite good. The PA rating, by the way, tells you how well the sunscreen protects you against those UVA rays. Not the burning rays, per se, but the rays that come through window glass and affect you while you're indoors and contribute to destruction of collagen and skin cancer risk. So this is actually a very good protection, which is not surprising. It has amazing filters in it for protecting against both of those types of UV. It has tinosorb in it, uh, which protects against uh, you know, all types of UV, UVB, UVA. It has Uvenol A+, a really great stable filter for protecting against UVA and it has octinoxate, a chemical filter for protecting against UVB. It's very, very moisturizing. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Japanese sunscreens uh, or sunscreens that are more gels, you often will see that they have uh, alcohol in them, low molecular weight alcohol, alcohol denaturant, which is fine. It helps stabilize the filters and it creates a formula that is fast drying, quick absorbing. But unfortunately, depending on the relative abundance of the low molecular weight alcohol in the product, it can end up being drying. And for people with dry skin, that's really what you want to avoid. So, you know, don't obsess over the ingredient list and try and completely avoid alcohol and sunscreens. That's not necessary. But those that I'm mentioning in today's video are either free of alcohol or it's very low, low in the ingredient list and not drying. So this one doesn't have any alcohol. Uh, it's got jojoba seed oil, which is very uh, moisturizing and, and an emollient. It also has ceramides, which are helpful for restoring the skin barrier, a really important part of dealing with dry skin. Ceramides are a key component in your moisture barrier, and uh, products that contain ceramides can help in facilitating skin barrier repair and recovery. So this is basically a very good moisturizing backbone. It's water resistant, even better. So if you do happen to be somewhere that is humid or you're working out, Wedding. This will stay on the skin with a little bit more reassurance than if it were not water resistant. This product is particularly good for those of you who have medium to deep skin tones. It will not leave a cast, so I'll show you here. Absorbs, like I said, really quickly. It's not greasy whatsoever. The second sunscreen for dry skin is the Kenmake Mermaid UV Gel SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Plus. Again, another wonderful uh, protection rating there. This has Tinosorb, Uvenol A Plus, and Octinoxate. Those are chemical filters that, long story short, do give a very nice spectrum of coverage in the UV range. This one also has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which are mineral actives that protect against both UVB and UVA. This product, unlike the Isen one, is not water resistant. And because it has zinc and titanium dioxide, you might find that uh, it leaves a little bit of a cast. For me, it doesn't leave a cast um, whatsoever. But if you have a deep skin tone, you may notice that kind of that kind of lavender look. Very moisturizing, no, lo no low molecular weight alcohols that can be drying in some cases. It also has a variety of root extracts that can help in imparting moisture to the skin. Wonderful as a makeup base, highly recommend this. All right, the third sunscreen is from the UK, really good for dry skin. It's new this year from the Altruist, it's their face fluid. This, I absolutely adore, it's my second bottle of it. It's got avabenzone, octisalate, octocrylin, bimetrizinol, which is also goes by the name Tinosorb. It has Uvenol T150, it has Tinosorb A2B, and it has titanium dioxide. Short answer, very good 
set of filters there and active ingredients for UV, broad spectrum UV protection. This one is water resistant. Um, it does not leave a cast, though it does have titanium dioxide. So if you have a really deep skin tone, you know, maybe you have to give me some feedback on, on if it does leave a cast or not. But for me, you know, it's, there's no cast whatsoever. This is so moisturizing. It's very comfortable to put on, really giving you an excellent UV uh, protection with those filters. It also has niacinamide, which is helpful for calming down redness. And if you deal with hyperpigmentation, that's a good ingredient to have in there too, because it helps reduce post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that can occur with you know, sun exposure. I think this is a great one for people with medium to deep skin tones, no cast, and at least in my experience, there's no cast. From the US of A, those of you on a budget, listen up. This is probably one of the most budget-friendly sunscreens out there. It's from Walgreens. It's like, it's under $3, I wanna say. It's their Sensitive SPF 50. As a side note, not only is this affordable at baseline, it's also uh, FSA eligible. So if you have an FSA uh, fe flexible spending account with your health insurance, you can, you can uh, you know, factor in those dollars here. This is a combination sunscreen. It has zinc and octinoxate. So this will leave a little bit of a cast, but it's honestly pretty negligible. If you have a medium skin tone, I think you can get away with it. If you have a very deep skin tone though, this may leave that kind of ashen look to it. Fragrance-free, as are all of these, by the way. This is water resistant and it's super moisturizing, very short ingredient list. If you have really sensitive skin, I highly recommend it. Here, let me just make sure I have blended it in. Yeah, I really hope they never discontinue this. It's a really nice uh, broad spectrum sunscreen, very moisturizing, minimal ingredients. If you have very sensitive skin, definitely give this a try. So that's a great one, but may not necessarily be the best choice if you have a deeper skin tone. Again, I think if you have a medium skin tone, you could get away with it but deeper skin tones, you know, it, it probably is gonna leave that kind of ashen look to the skin. All right, next up is another Japanese sunscreen favorite. That is the Biore UV Kids Milk SPF 50 Plus. This is a fantastic one for dry skin. I wish we had something like this here in the States. These Japanese sunscreens, by the way, I get them on Yes Style. You can also get them uh, sometimes on Amazon. They do take a while to arrive, however, but regardless, uh, this is this is one I really like for dry skin because it has petrolatum in it, which is a fantastic ingredient for trapping water into the skin and reducing what's called transepidermal water loss. And of course, like the other Japanese sunscreens I mentioned here, it has a phenomenal uh, spectrum of filters. It has Uvenol A plus for UVA. It has Uvenol T150 for UVB. It's got Tinisorb S and it has Octinoxate. I mean, you really have a good bag of tricks there. Fragrance free, it doesn't have any uh, drying alcohols in it either. So if you're seeking to avoid those, this is a great one. Now this is a chemical sunscreen. So for those of you with medium to deep skin tones, it is fantastic in terms of not leaving a cast at all. Now, many people develop irritation and stinging with chemical sunscreens, even if they're formulated in a gentle overall formulation, such as this one for kids. Uh, but if that's you, check out the Biore UV Kids Pure Milk SPF 50 PA3 Plus because this is a mineral sunscreen. Same brand, you know, Japanese sunscreen, but it's mineral. There are no chemical filters. Chemical filters are the, the ingredients in sunscreens that can burn or sting for people, especially people with really sensitive skin. Uh, so it, it has that. That being said, because it's a mineral sunscreen, it's going to leave a cast. It also has shea butter in it, a wonderful moisturizing ingredient, and overall has a very short ingredient list. So that bodes well for people with sensitive skin. So I would recommend that as an alternative if you are very uh, sensitive to chemical filters. But both the uh, Nobi UV, both this one and the mineral one, they're both free of drying alcohols and you know, they have a very no-nonsense ingredient list. Wonderful. All right, the next sunscreen is for those of you in Canada. I adore this. It is great. It's Garnier Ombrelle Sensitive SPF 60. Now, Garnier is a L'Oreal brand, and uh, outside of the US, they put in their sunscreens Mexoril, which is their proprietary filter they developed and it offers amazing UV protection, very good. Um, I wish we had it here 
Uh, we have one sunscreen actually here in the States with it, but all of the hoops the FDA makes sunscreen manufacturers jump through, it, it makes it very difficult for them to put it in more uh, products. Uh, but anyways, uh, what I was getting at is this product does have Mexoril, so that's a great filter. It also has, um, what else? Uh, it has octocrylin and octisalate and avabenzone. So you're getting a good battery of filters in there. It's free of fragrance. This does have uh, low molecular weight alcohols, however, to stabilize the filters, but they are you know, not the body of the formula. See, here's the thing. When it comes to sunscreens, you can't just study the ingredient list and try and deduce efficacy or you know whether or not it's going to break you out or whether or not it's going to dry you out. You really just can't. And so some people will hone in on the fact that it has alcohol and cancel it out automatically. But it's the formula overall that dictates not only how effective it is, but also you know see side effects. This formula is super moisturizing overall. They've added things to really balance out any potential drying aspect of the low molecular weight alcohols. Highly recommend this. It's water resistant, no cap with this at all. So this is a good one if you have a medium to deep skin tone. I adore this. It's a great one. No cast, as you can see, very moisturizing. I mean, you almost can use it as a hand cream, which you should be putting sunscreen on your hands as a side note. Um, yeah, this is great. So highly recommend that for those of you in Canada. This is an American sunscreen brand I adore, MD Solar Science. And this is a tinted mineral sunscreen, no fragrance. Uh, it has zinc and titanium dioxide, which are great for broad spectrum protection. This is very sensitive skin friendly. And the tint in this, tinted sunscreens we know are nice in that they offer, they, they make the sunscreen offer you a little bit more beyond just UV protection. They offer some visible light protection. And I've got videos explaining this, but we are, have now learned that it's visible light, the light that you see with your eyes, that can contribute to early onset and more persistent hyperpigmentation in people with medium to deep skin tones. And so we encourage patients now with those issues related to hyperpigmentation to seek out uh, tinted sunscreens because we know that they can offer a little bit of extra protection against those wavelengths that are problematic for those issues. This product is really moisturizing. It has ceramides in it like the Ice and Mommy sunscreen I talked about earlier. Um, but I really like this. It doesn't pill, it doesn't ball, it stays in place, it's super moisturizing, it's not greasy, it's not heavy, uh, it shouldn't aggravate acne. I mean, none of these should. Um, so yeah, really good in that sense. Now, if you have a deep skin tone, this likely will leave a cast because as you can see, this one is a little on the pale side for a tinted sunscreen. But if you have a deeper skin tone, the nice thing about that is the tint uh, the iron oxides, you know, that should protect you against those wavelengths that lead to hyperpigmentation. All right, and then last but not least, this product I've been wearing for years, and it's Elta MD's UV Sport. This is one of the more affordable sunscreens from Elta MD. It's a combination sunscreen, meaning it has zinc and then some chemical filters for UVB protection. It's got octinoxate and octisalate. Super short ingredient list. Um, and this, uh, it leaves a little bit of a cast, you know, because of the zinc. It, it does leave a little bit of a cast. It's water resistant, so it's great if you are going to be active outdoors. It's not greasy. It does make the skin a little bit shiny, which you guys know I, it doesn't, that, that I don't, doesn't bother me, but I know a lot of you guys are like, please no shine. Uh, so this one's a little on the shiny side. Uh, otherwise, I love this. Very moisturizing. And good if you have really sensitive skin in particular. So you can see on the right here, the combination sunscreen versus the mineral only tinted from MD Solar Science. You can see the difference in cash that they're throwing uh, between the two. All right, guys, those are my favorites right now for dry skin. There are so many fantastic sunscreens out there. So comment below what you guys are really liking right now. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.